Good morning, Patriots. Mr. Short here. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you back to Kings Mountain Middle School. Whether you're seated in class today or you're uh, logged on and, and learning remotely from home, I want to welcome you and, and let you know that I'm excited to have you as part of my class, excited to get to grow and learn uh, and explore computer science discoveries with you this year. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is, again, Shane Short. This is my fifth year teaching here at Kings Mountain Middle School. Uh, I also coach wrestling and football at the high school, and I coach track here at the middle school. Uh, I want to start off by going over my homepage just to give you guys some guidance on, on what you're going to be clicking on and where things are going to be located on my homepage as you navigate through my course. Uh, when you do log in to my class on Canvas, you're going to go to the first thing I want to show you here is on my whiteboard, this clickable link here is my syllabus. And you click that, it's going to bring up my syllabus. Now, we're going to go over this syllabus uh, throughout the course of the week, but I just wanted to show you here at the beginning where to navigate to that at. Okay, coming back to my home screen, uh, if you notice right here, this little red poster with a uh, Patriot on it, if you click on that, that's going to bring you to the Kings Mount Middle School website. Okay, and there's a lot of good information on there. It's going to have our calendar on there. It's going to have um, the school supply list, uh, athletics, things for your parents. Um, anything you need to know how to contact us, anything you need to know is going to be on that website. The next thing I want to show you is right here, this cork board. On this cork board, there is a, um, a note that I have pinned up there that says Wednesday, Google Meet, 1 to 2 uh, p.m. That's going to be the time that I'm going to be available for you to help you um, on Wednesday with any questions you have, any help that you may need with whatever's going on in the course that week. Um, I'm here to help, and those will be my office hours. So I'll be logged into that Google Meet every Wednesday from 1 to 2 p.m. And all you guys have to do to get there is just click on that Post-it note. And when you click on that Post-it note, hey, there I am. It's going to bring up your Google Meet. Uh, and right there it, see, it says Mr. Short's office hours. Obviously no one's logged in because it's not Wednesday yet. But when you click on that post-it note, it's going to take you right there to our meeting for Wednesday. If you notice right here on our laptop, it says code, C-O-D-E. Code.org is one of the online uh, platforms that we use to learn computer science. If you click on that computer screen, it will take you to the home screen for code.org. Okay, and we'll, we'll get into setting up those accounts as we move through the first few weeks of class. Uh, right here, if you look on uh, my little desk right here, see that's me right there. If you look on my laptop right there, it's got two P's, PP. That stands for Paxton Patterson. That is also a new uh, online platform that we're going to use this year um, to be able to uh, learn some of our new curriculum this year. And I'll go over what that is in the syllabus. And then the final thing we have on my home screen is right here is this little canvas box. You click that. Obviously, uh, it's access denied because I'm already logged into Canvas. But um, if you're looking at this home screen right now, you're already in Canvas. So that's a little, uh, a little redundant, but I wanted to make sure that you guys uh, knew where that was at. All right. So as we went over our home screen, I want to actually transition into our modules. If we transition into our modules for week one, you're going to notice when you get into class, I'm in student view right now, um, you're going to have a few things. Uh, this doesn't go active until uh, class actually starts. But a few things I want to go over right now is your task for this week. Okay, this week is August 17th. Um, the first thing you're going to do, we're going to go over log on instructions. If you click this link right here, that will go over, that will give you all the instructions you need for logging into your Chromebooks. The next thing, we're going to have my syllabus. That's where you'll read the syllabus that I just showed you how to get to. You can get to it from the home page or you can get to it through the module right here. Also in the first week, we're going to have some COVID-19 safety information. Now this is very um, general. Um, you probably heard a lot of these different uh, recommendations before, uh, but this is some very general information as far as how to stay safe and how to control the spread of the virus. As soon as you go over that, you're going to click here and take that quiz. It's a five-question quiz. 
We also are going to have our student expectations, and you'll be getting this in all of your, uh, probably a lot of your classes. I know you'll get it in your win class, and you'll definitely be getting it in my class. We want to make sure that you understand all the expectations that we have of you. You also have a, a, another five, uh, another quiz there that's worth five points. And then this very important thing right here at the bottom, it says parent contact information. When this class goes live, uh, you're going to have access to this Google form here. And by the end of this first week, the week of August 17th, it's going to, I'm going to need you to have you or your parents fill out this Google form that's going to give me the contact information for you and your parents in the event that I need to, to speak with them. Okay, so that's going to be week one. And we'll get into that a little bit more as we go through the course of this week. Uh, right here, this is going to always be available. This is early finisher activities. If uh, during the course of the week you finish all activities for that week or you finish all the assignments or requirements for that week, you're going to have these three things right here that's going to be some supplemental fun uh, learning exercises for you to go to uh, to be able to help you um, continue to grow and learn in your computer science um, curriculum. Computer science practice games. You click on this link right here. It's going to take you to some different... Um, Links. Okay, CodeMonkey is one of them. CodeMonkey is very fun. Um, Code.org. Now, Code.org has a. I'll just click on it here so you can see it. Code.org has a um, a gaming section where you can just play different games, dance party, Minecraft, uh, make a flappy game. These are different activities that are fun um, for you to do, but at the same time, it's teaching you ways to code. It's letting you practice. The things that we're going over in class so that's that's one link that i i really enjoy and then we have khan academy there with some cute computer programming activities as well also uh let me get back here let's navigate back to our modules uh, we have a digital escape room in our early finisher activity lost at the museum this is a really fun really fun computer science game that allows you to um to kind of test your knowledge, test your your wittiness of, of how to uh, get out of this museum that you're locked in. Really fun. So that'll be another supplemental activity that you guys will have. Again, I want to go back over the home screen real quick before I get off here. Google Meet on Wednesday, post-it note here, Kings Mount Middle School website here, syllabus here on the whiteboard, code.org is going to be on the student laptop, and Paxton Patterson is going to be right here on Mr. Short's laptop. And then there is the Canvas link. So I'll be getting back with you uh, posting another video about midweek this week. But I just want to give you a little guidance on how to navigate through my home screen on my Canvas course. And just a little bit about the expectations for the first week of class. Again, I'm excited to have you. I really look forward to working with you and learning with you and growing with you this year. If you have any questions or need me for anything, my email address is down here at the bottom of my home screen. It's esshort at clevelandcountyschools.org. All right, I look forward to having, uh, having you in class this year. Stay safe, and let's have a great year.